Accelerator, acceleration pedal spacer. <laughs> What's up guys, Eric with Varus Engineering here and we are gonna be doing another install on our GV WRX STI. Well, this one's the sedan. However, it does fit both sedan and hatchbacks. The pedal spacer is basically geared towards those who think that moving the pedal closer to them and closer to the brake pedal can benefit them for heel toe downshifting on track. This in my opinion, is beneficial for anyone running st uh, stainless brake lines uh, or a big brake kit that really has a stiff brake pedal. If the pedal, if the brake pedal is fairly mushy, then normally on hard braking, the brake pedal goes down far enough that you can heel toe pretty easily. However, if you do have a stiff pedal, this will definitely benefit you, um, and that's in my opinion. But uh, we've also heard a lot of other people state that they really wanted us to come out with this product, so that's why we basically did so. Install is really simple. Uh, you can probably do this in 15, 20 minutes. We have to do it on the lift because she blew up. So that's fun. If you have a long block, hit us up, sales at varusengineering.com. Um, moving on, uh, you basically need a 12 millimeter socket, a 13 millimeter socket, and a ratchet. And basically that's all you need for the entire install. All right guys, we are in the driver's side, basically footwell. Um, you're looking at the accelerator pedal here and you may see uh, basically two bolts up there um, that hold it on. Uh, let's see if I can point out. One right there and then the other one's on the other side. Uh, we're basically going to remove those and they are 12 millimeter. Um, I'm using an extension and a ratchet on that 12 millimeter to get those off. Alright so I have now removed the pedal and then I remove the clip from the top really easily you just you know like a regular any electrical clip and then moving on to our our pedal spacer I have installed the two bolts that are supplied with the kit through the back and then let them drop down like so and then we will actually install this where the pedal was so those two studs that are in the firewall goes here and down here and uh, we'll do that real quick all right we have now installed the pedal spacer on the car um, we use the supplied nuts and those are those require a 13 millimeter socket to install um, we torqued those to about 8 to 10 foot pounds nothing too crazy there um, they are m8 so they can take a little bit of torque but not a ton or at least I would not. Um, currently it is installed all the way over to the right. There is some room to go to the left. I believe it's eight millimeter distance that it can actually move um, to the left if you want it closer to the brake pedal. But I always recommend starting um, the furthest away from the brake pedal to ensure that you kind of get used to it first because it definitely gets significantly closer to, um, to the brake pedal and that can kind of be a little odd at first. Um, we will now take the actual pedal and install it on those two um, bolts as, as studs basically and, and then we'll use the OEM nuts to tighten the pedal onto the uh, pedal spacer. We'll go do that right now. Alright, so at this point the OEM pedal is installed on our pedal spacer. I go to about the middle location on the up and down. And if you're having a hard time moving the pedal up and down, I recommend basically snugging up the nuts on the pedal. And then that basically allows the bolt on the back side to freely slide in and not bind basically. It's binding when, when you have a hard time moving it up and down. Um, we do have, or, or on the pedal spacer, the, um, the unit is able to move up and down um, I believe it's 25 millimeter, uh, so about an inch, and that definitely does help some of our customers uh, move the pedal spacer or the pedal acceleration pedal into a location they really like for for heel toe downshifting. Um, I'm unsure if you can tell at this point, but um, the pedal is definitely closer to the brake pedal in in this direction, left and right, and then also quite a bit in in this direction. 
Um, so that's ultimately um, the pedal install. So uh, we'll wrap it up and, and oh, don't forget to plug in the, the pedal, acceleration pedal, of course. All right guys, that wraps up the install. It really is that simple. The only thing I suggest is basically take it easy for the first few weeks. Um, if you hate it at first, give it a few weeks again because you have a bunch of muscle memory and as you change that, it's very awkward at first. You might accidentally hit the brake when you mean to hit the acceleration, accelerator pedal or the accelerator pedal when you mean to hit the brake. So just be careful initially and make sure that you, you take it easy. Um, good luck with uh, the install and I hope you found this uh, helpful. Uh, subscribe, like us, all that jazz. We appreciate it. Thanks.